A good morning, students. In today's class, I am going to talk about conic sections. In the conic section, we will discuss about construction of parabola, hyperbola, as well as ellipse. Please take down the question before starting the parabola construction. Draw the curve from a fixed point to fixed straight line is 50. Draw a curve from the fixed straight line to fixed point is 50. For a value e equals to 1. And also draw tangent and normal at a distance of 30 from the directrix. And also draw tangent and normal at a distance of 30 from the directrix. Before going to talk about this, I need to discuss even about the eccentricity. The eccentricity value and the formula will be discussed while plotting the parabola curve using the eccentricity method. Before going to start this, we need to plot a fixed straight line, horizontal line and one more line which is perpendicular to this horizontal line, naming it as AB. In other terms, it is also called as axis. Axis is a line passing from or perpendicular to the directrix. Let this be CD, that is directrix. The word directrix is also other words called as fixed straight line. And as I told in the problem, the distance from fixed straight line to a fixed point is 50. So this directrix is also called as fixed straight line or just a fixed line. Now locating focus onto the axis, that means from the directrix or from the fixed line, the distance for the focus is 50 which is given in the question. So this is nothing but F. AF equals to 50. That is focus distance. Focus distance from directrix. Before going to locate vertex, let us define what exactly a vertex is. For example, I have this. Any curve passing through axis and touching a point on the axis is nothing but vertex. The point which is touching the axis is termed as vertex. Now how to locate the vertex? For a parabola, value of E is equals to 1. What exactly E is? Eccentricity is defined as the ratio of the ratio of vertex to focus to that of vertex to directrix Bf by Ba Bf by Ba After plotting the diagram we will be knowing even the point while drawing that we have points on the curve or it may be also defined as focus to the point to the point to the directrix Eccentricity may be also defined as the distance from point to focus to that of point to directrix. Or it may be also defined as a point from vertex to focus to that of point from vertex to directrix. So this is nothing but eccentricity. So for a value e equals to 1, eccentricity is half of the vertex to focus to the top, vertex to directrix. So that is nothing but half of this is equals to 25. Or in other words it is named as Bf equals to Ba. So look at vertex. After the vertex, draw a perpendicular line from vertex which is equals to Vf is equals to BE. BF equals to BE. That is BF equals to BE. From A, 
draw a line to E and extend it further. From point A, connect to E and extend it further. Next. In order to proceed for the construction, I should locate the number of points to next of B. I am going to locate number of points to the next of B which need not be of equal distance. Draw a perpendiculars from these all points and extend them further. Draw all perpendicular lines, the axis line and extend or erect them perpendiculars even down. And naming them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. And here is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and 5 dash. So I hope you got after the word text, locate the number of points, the next of V, which need be of equidistance or which not not be of equidistance. Next. In order to work on this problem, F is center and 1, 1 dash, 2, 2 dash, 3, 3 dash, so on, will be the radius. What I am saying is, with your compass, taking 1, 1 dash as a radius, F as the center, marking or cutting the arcs on 1, 1 dash line. I repeat once again, 1, 1 dash is a radius, F as the center, 1, 1 dash radius which I compass, take as it is and place it on F, it is a center, cutting either sides of 1, 1 dash line. So you will be getting an arc, 1, 1 dash. And it is named as, got two points, which is above, that is P1 dash, and this is P1, P1, P1 dash are the points which are located <coughs> on 1, 1 dash line. Similarly, in order to trace a curve on 2, 2 dash line, taking 2, 2 dash as a radius, F as the center, cutting either sides of the R. So this is P2 dash, and this is P2. Dear students, similarly proceed with all the lines, the number of lines we have taken on this axis line. Same thing to be followed. Now P3 dash is radius, F as the center, cutting either sides. Next, 4, 4 dash, 5, 5 dash, so So join these all points first with dots. Do not make directly with HB pencil. Why? Because you may not be getting a smooth curve exactly. So make dots first. Make dots, then join them. Now with HB pencil, a single stroke, you are going to join all these points, making a smooth curve, which is nothing but a required parabola. If you do it with an instrument, you will be getting an exact curve, a smooth curve and using set of different pencils. So only with HB pencil you are going to trace this curve. So you will be getting a smooth and neat curve there by and below. In same angle, you are going to get this parabola curve. In the question, it is also asked to draw tangent and normal at a distance of 40 or 50 or somewhere on the curve. Now, how to locate tangent and normal on the curve? Taking your scale and placing from diatrix or a fixed line, a point, let it be some point of some distance anywhere on the curve, giving some name to it as M, I am giving M. Now, join this M to F. Join the point M to F. I hope you understood from the diatrix, locate any point on the curve, that point gives some naming, join that point to the 
both us. Now, draw a perpendicular line to MF touching this directed line somewhere. Touches somewhere. Or draw a 90 degree line to this MF. So it touches this. So give some meaning as three dash plus. Now, join T to M. Join T to M. And extending it a bit further, we will get a line that is nothing but tangent line. This is a tangent line. Now, to the tangent, draw a perpendicular 90 degree from M. So that is your normal curve. M N dash. This is M N dash. What I did, I located point M. From M join point to F, then this line to be perpendicular. So it is meaning somewhere the directrix line. Give some naming and pass this curve to M and extend it further. So we get PT dash is a tangent. And for this perpendicular that is the normal, that is nothing but M and dash. So this is about drawing and constructing a parabola using a central stream. Dear students, do not forget to write a value of E after locating or constructing the curve to know it is of drawn of which method whether the centricity method or any other method and please kindly even write down the notes of this whether it is parabola or hyperbola using letter standards And do not forget to write even the dimensioning file because dimensioning plays an important and major role in engineering drawing. So even plot dimensioning to the end of the program till here the rules. And focus somewhere here. Thank you.